Yeah, in this video we're just going to convert decimals to mixed numbers. So we'll, we'll just do these four examples. So if I take 3.6, and again, i got to remember what my ones and my tenths and my hundredths are, and uh, you might have a cheat sheet available there. But uh, once remember, like, uh, ones, the three is a one, the, point, the six here is a tenth, or, or one tenth, one over ten, right? And, and uh, the next guys are one over a hundred, hundredths, okay? So what I have is three ones and six tenths, okay? So this can be written three and six over ten, do you remember that? Right? Now that is, that is correct, the only thing you have to do at the end is to put this fraction part into lowest terms, okay? So write six tenths in lowest terms. 2 into 6 goes 3 times, 2 into 10 goes 5 times. So 6 tenths becomes 3 fifths, so we get 3 and 3 fifths. So it's a mixed number, it has a whole number and a fraction, and um, the fraction is in lowest terms. So that's what we need, we need a whole number fraction and a fraction in lowest terms. So let's have a look at this guy, 1.25. Okay. And we'll take out our cheat sheet again. We've got a one, two tenths, and five hundredths. But you might remember that this twenty point this this can be thought of as twenty five hundredths. So it's like a dollar and twenty five cents. So it's one dollar and how many hundredths? Twenty five hundredths or twenty five cents. Okay. And this is correct, you just have to put the fraction into lowest terms and you're good, okay? So go ahead and write that fraction in lowest terms. Does 25 itself go into 100? That might be the quickest way, right? But it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you get the right answer. 25 into 25 goes once, 25 into 100 actually goes four times, okay? So this is one and one quarter, right? Which should be obvious because, you know, a dollar twenty-five is definitely one dollar and a quarter of a dollar, right? Okay. So please press pause and do this one by yourself. Okay? Press pause and do this one by yourself. And see if you get the same answer as me. Okay, I'm going to do it now. Hope you press pause. Hope you tried it. Okay. I have 8.05, eight ones, once again, the cheat sheet, zero tenths, five hundredths, okay? I can write that like this, eight and five over one hundred, or five hundredths, and that's a mixed number. I just need to put the fraction in lowest terms, okay? So five into five goes once, five into ten goes twice, 5 into 0 goes 0 times, so I get 1 20th, okay? So we have 8 and 1 20th, right? How about 9.13? That is 9 and 1 tenth and 3 hundredths, or you could think 13, because this is these are all hundred. they can think 13 hundredths, right? Does that make sense? Now put that in lowest terms. Put that in lowest terms. Can you? Can you reduce the fact the fraction any more? No. So that's the answer. If you can't put it in lowest terms, then there's nothing you, you can't go any further, so you're done, right? So nine and thirteen hundredths is the answer there. Yep. 